Here I am, finally at peace. I can hear the birds chirping, feel the wind as they brush against me, lifting me up into the skies. I can feel the rays of the sun as it shines on my skin, providing me warm. Here I am, finally free of my thoughts, finally. That is one of the problems that people face when they're trying to reflect. Ideal conditions are nice, but sometimes they're so nice they fall asleep. Nevertheless, welcome back to my channel. This is Shanku, and you're another episode of Growing With Wisdom. Essentially, a good reflections have three components. Number one, what have I done well? This is usually a section that most people fail to reflect on. We are always thought to look at our flaws so we can learn from them, correct them, and do better next time. We are so focused on the negativity, we fail to give ourselves the credit we deserve. The credit of even attempting it. As a result of focusing on only on what's wrong, we feel inadequate sometimes to the point where you will ask yourself, is screwing up the only thing you're good at? I always tell people, if no one gives you a pat on the back, reach over your own shoulder, pat yourself on the back, and say well done. After all, who needs others when we have us? The reason why it is so important to even thank yourself is that every attempt counts. And it is something to be congratulated about. Life is not about winning or losing. It is about learning. We need to stop focusing on the outcome and focus on the process instead. So, what have you done well? For this video, let us use the example of public speaking. It is one of the most crucial skills in our society. We use public speaking in presentations, interviews, and sometimes even in normal conversations. If you are a quiet and shy person and you have just delivered your presentation, well done no matter the results. This is because you have attempted and completed something that you are most afraid of, and that itself deserves an applause. Number two, what could I have done better? The most important thing in this section is to be honest with yourself. There is no need to bash yourself up. People screw up all the time, and that is okay because we are just humans. The important thing is to learn from your mistakes and to not repeat them again. Explore ways in which you could improve. First of all, ask yourself, how would an ideal situation go? Say if you are a boss in public speaking, you have gone out on a stage dominated, you have interacted with the crowd well, make everyone laugh, command attention when you needed it, and walk off the stage feeling like you're on top of the world. In reality, you probably spend most of your time reading off the cards, reading off the slides. Most of your speech will be filled with um, er, uh, ah. Uh. Your mind goes blank when someone asks you a question, and when you crack a joke, no one laughs at it. That is okay. Secondly, identify where did you go wrong. Is it nervousness? If so, why are you nervous? Are you nervous because you are unprepared? Are you nervous because you were afraid of what others would think of you? Were you nervous because you think that, oh, someone else would do better than me, or the guy before me does a lot better? It is so often that we think what other people are thinking that's holding us back. Thirdly, what do you need to do better? We have talked about what you have done well we have talked about what could be improved. The only question left is how do you improve? Let us go back to our previous example in public speaking. Say you're bad at public speaking and you have identified that you have stage fright from our exercise above. The next thing to do is to speak in front of a crowd. I know, it sounds crazy. But this is actually a psychological trick to condition yourself. 
You may have heard of suggestions such as imagine everyone is a potato. I don't know why potato, there's so many better fruits and vegetables that I could have think of. But all of these are just temporizing measures. They didn't work long term. The best way is confront it. I remembered when I started public speaking, I would speak in front of a mirror, practice in to talking to thin air all the time. And you know those awkward moments, especially if you're an Asian and you know your mom just comes into your room without knocking. The amount of time my mom caught me speaking to thin air, it is lucky she, you know, she didn't send me to a psychiatrist because she thought I was hallucinating. Start with smaller groups, say your friends, your family, people you're close to, people who will laugh at you, beg them to listen to your speech. Then we move on to bigger group, and the bigger, and the bigger, until you're so confident you can do this in front of a crowd without any preparation. Research on tips to improve, Go to courses such as Toastmasters, those were big back in my days, and watch my YouTube videos. And practice, practice, and practice. So that's it guys. Three simple steps on how to do a good self-reflection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.